I love, you know, singing a song. Yeah. So one day I went to the other place, Camp C, and over, and this area as well. I really, I like to go out and then sing a song, praise the Lord, outside. It is called Bosky, you know, Bosky. But I didn't get any money from that. <laughs> but I like to go out, praise the Lord. And then it's a day watching, and that they are listening to you know, some Christian song. Can you imagine that? What you make of? Think about Lily. You are here. God is here, moving in our midst. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. God is here. Do you feel that? God is here now. God is here. I worship you. Wait. God is a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who God is. God is here touching my heart, your heart. You are here, God is here, healing every heart. God is here to heal your heart. Amazing God, isn't it? Turning lives around. I worship you. God is here, mending every heart. The reason why you know they keep you know coming hard without changing, without renewing your heart, maybe we cannot worship in the truth and the life. That your heart is important. When I have a look at for maybe about 23 years ministry so far, the reason why many people saw because of God's heart. Because God gave them heart and then they have got God's heart. That's why they serve, they clean this place. They pay and they give an offering and then they you know that not uh, work for a uh, ministry because God's heart. So God is here to heal your heart, change your heart, you know, transform your heart to look to God. Amen. Right? But look at the reality, look to God. That is important. That is our hope. If you have got God's heart, God will use you for his glory. Amen. So let's just stand up together. So please sing together in your heart, in your heart. Joy, can you help?
now because it's time to pray in the name of Jesus. God, search our heart. God, know everything. If you feel in a sense of guilt, please repent. You know, if you you know come into sin, you know, Bible said even though you know that you are jealous, you hate others, you you are not praying. That is you know the sin. Bible says. If you commit any kind of sin, now is the time to repent, turn back to God, and ask God to forgive you. If you don't forgive others, now is the time to forgive others. Because without forgiveness, you know, that we cannot live our as Christian beautifully. Because Jesus said, I forgave you, just like I forgave you, forgive others. Now is time to forgive others. Now is time to cry out for your children, my children, because Many children, second generation, left the church, left God. They don't know who God is. Now it's time to pray for those who are not well. Now it's time to pray those who has that anxiety, you know, you know, upset. Any many issues, physical, spiritual, you know, any you know, any you know, uh, you know, emotional issue. Now God is care, providential care. God is is the source of a healer. Now it's time to. Let's pray together. If you want, you can raise your hand. Look to God. Now it's going to be this is like you know, practice. Speech of practice to look to Jesus. If you know, you can raise your hand. Pray for spiritual growth as you pray and read the scripture. Pray 
is God in our lives. We pray that people will be able to adjust to new normal life. We pray God will help us be so team for people to overcome this pandemic situation. We pray each, I pray each one of us who really need your help to please be with each one of us. Especially please speak to us, each one of us, who you are, who God is. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness and darkness. Who God is. Thank you, Lord. Amen. May the grace of Lord God, love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you who those who really seek God's help during this time. Be with you, be with the church, all church in this world, including in our North Korean underground church. Forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you.